Once the client has paid in full and all suppliers have been paid, the last step in the booking is to collate all the documentation the client needs to travel. This includes a final itinerary detailing all travel instructions and relevant contact details. Clients will also require airline tickets, land arrangement vouchers, accommodation, transfers, sightseeing tours, rail tickets, cruise tickets, and travel insurance policy, etc. Final itineraries. Itineraries are an important document for your clients as they detail all the travel arrangements that have been made. Important points to note are A, all contact details should be recorded for suppliers, travel agents, and consultants. Include all details. It's best to assume the client has not traveled before as it is preferable to provide too much detail than not enough. All components or travel arrangements should be in consecutive order, preferably by dates and then time. It should follow a logical sequence and be easy to read. It is recommended that times are recorded in the 24-hour clock. Accommodation details should include check-in and check-out times, all address and phone numbers, names of all suppliers or operators if applicable. It is recommended to show the day of the week as well as the date. Avoid the use of jargon or codes where possible. Now, DXB or SGLB may mean something to a tourism professional, but it won't make sense necessarily to a traveler. Include check-in information for flights. Wish your client a safe journey. Always make sure the itinerary is accurate and has been cross-checked with all travel documents, the customer profile, and booking record. Mistakes can be costly and unprofessional. The figure shows part of a final itinerary document. Tickets and vouchers. The travel industry uses the terms tickets and vouchers to refer to the final documentation that clients require to travel. To assist with understanding this process, think about a time you purchased a ticket for a concert or entry to an attraction. You receive a ticket when you pay. It may be a physical paper ticket or it may be a digital ticket. Whatever the case, you have to show the ticket to gain entrance. The ticket is worth money. If it's lost, you can't enter and someone else could use it. Now, tickets are vouchers that are issued upon payment for travel services and products. However, all is not necessarily lost if they're lost. There are a record of confirmation of services and payment, but in most cases, the paper or digital document is a reference rather than having physical monetary value. The documents are electronic ticket records, ETRs, commonly referred to as e-tickets, and the traveler needs to produce identification to prove that they indeed are the person named in the documentation. Airline e-tickets. ETRs are emailed to the traveler upon issue and can be printed or accessed electronically for the flight check-in procedures. To travel, the client needs their booking number to gain electronic access to their e-ticket. The status of the ETR changes when travelers check in for flights as evidence that the ticket has been used. If a passenger doesn't check in for a flight, the ETR may be eligible for refund depending upon the rules of the airfare. Refund applications can be made by the issuing agent via an IATA BSP process. Rail e-tickets. Rail e-tickets are also an electronic record issued for rail travel. They can be printed, but the passenger simply requires the ability to provide the booking number or PNR code upon request when on board the train.